Hey guys, uh, here is my long-awaited uh, Quick Palm 2.1 jailbreak video for the iPhone iPod Touch and iPhone 3G. Um, I'm not sure if this jailbreaks the new iPod Touch. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I didn't actually read on that. I should have read that before I did the video. Um, just plug your iPhone up to the computer. Okay, plug it up to the computer uh, or iPod. Uh, download the Quick Pwn, very easy, and they made this a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, well, not really faster, but download Quick Pwn, extract it, it'll be in a zip file. I'll have a link in the video description over here. Um, just download that, open the Quick Pwn folder up once you've got it extracted, and you will have the Quick .exe file. The pineapple logo, just open that. You can view the README, I'm sure that probably helps you out or something. Okay, you can close that folder now. And now it's just going to say that. Um, Quick Home must detect your device for continuing. Continuing. <laughs> continuing. Um, so just click the next button. Alright, and now if as you see it automatically detects what device you have. It says iPhone right here. Um, and then if I'll zoom in right here. Um, it says the correct ISP, ISP will have the uh, or IPSW sorry will have iPhone one comma one uh, under slash or underscore whatever you call it two point one. Okay, so it will tell you exactly what your firmware should look like to make sure you have the right one. Um, and I will have the firmware downloads in the video description also over here if you don't have the firmware downloaded. You're going to download the 2.1 firmware. Um, and if you're jailbreaking on a lower firmware, I would recommend, really, 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 really recommend you upgrade to 2.1. Okay, what you're going to do once you got the firmware downloaded, uh, the 2.1 firmware, browse. And selecting the 2.1 firmware if you're on 2.0 is not going to upgrade you. So just to let you know that. All right, go all the way or find actually where you have the 2.1 firmware downloaded. Okay, I have it saved in this folder over here, but you need to save yours to the desktop. And I'll have I actually have links. I'll give you a link to tiesiphoneapp.com, uh, the download page of that because I have all the firmware downloads. Okay, iPhone one comma one two point two exactly what it told me to select. Okay, select your firmware. Alright, and then it may take you a little bit longer than that. I've already did it once, so I am guess that's why I have to load up faster. Go next. Uh, you can replace boot logos. Like, you don't get to pick your boot logos, but it will um, have the Steve Jobs as your... The Steve Jobs cartoon as your um, recovery logo and the pineapple as your boot logo. You can do that if you'd like to. I recommend keeping Installer and Cydia. And I'm not going to show you how to unlock in this, ver in this uh, video. I haven't tested that out, so go next. Okay, please ensure your device is connected via USB. Okay, now here's where you're going to have to get ready. What we're going to have to do after you click this, um, you're going to have to go, you're going to have to hold the home button for 5 seconds, both buttons for 10 seconds, and then the home button for about 30 seconds. So, be prepared to go home, both, home. And why you sw when you switch to, uh, it's like you never release the home button in this whole, pro whole process. So, we'll, I'll show you. Click next, and be prepared. It's going to do it. Right when this highlights is when you need to start holding the home button. Okay, and if you mess up, you can always start over. Get ready. And we're holding in the home button. We're waiting for our phone to reboot in recovery mode. So once it reboots, be prepared. Okay, here we go. And now, start holding it in. Four, three, two. Okay, now we're holding in both buttons, and you still do not you do not release the power button or the home button when you switch to both buttons. Okay, get ready to release the power again. Okay, now just keep holding in the home button until it um yeah until it says it stop. I you're gonna keep holding in the home button until I tell you to release it. Do not release that home button. I'm gonna actually cut the video and make it shorter. Just keep holding in your home button. And here's the new little image they added. They added a few new things. I'll show you some more stuff in just a second. Okay. All right. Now here's where you can release the uh, home button. When it tells you the ponish process has appeared to complete successfully, it says something else. You probably need to reboot your phone and try again. If it won't let you reboot by holding in the power and home button until it reboots and turns back on, uh, you may need to restore it and try this again. But it should work. And now you can release the home button once you see this and this on your computer. Alright, and now it's going to go through this process right here. I am going to skip through this. Uh, basically just does some stuff and then it tells you your phone's rebooting. And I will come back. Okay. 
And then you should see the pineapple logo once it gets done. It'll last, the last little step it'll say is rebooting. And it'll start rebooting. Uh, the first time I did this, it kind of got hung up on the uh, boot logo for a minute. But uh, it, it booted up fine. Hopefully it does for you. Um, if you have any problems or anything like that, um, before you send me a message, make sure you go to the form at tiesoffonehelp.com slash form and uh, post it in the appropriate category. And there's a lot of people there that can help you out. Make sure you register for the form. Uh, I'll have a link in the video description and it should be rebooting. As you see, it's already my computer's already read it. But uh, it's still rebooting. But just be patient. Okay, after waiting forever, you see it rebooted. And I have a password. Let me type that in. And uh, there you go. Jailbroken iPhone and iPod Touch and iPhone 3G. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. As I said before, uh, if you have any problems, go check out the form at tiesiphonehub.com slash form. Uh, make sure you go register for that even if you're not having problems. And uh, please subscribe, guys. Thanks. And just want to add another little note. I just hit 7,000 subscribers. Thanks, guys. Keep them coming. I appreciate every one of them.